You know, it probably comes as no surprise to you that one of my favorite things to do is talk about solution-focused brief therapy with, with people with whom I respect uh, that have new ideas and innovative thoughts. And some of my favorite people to do that with are uh, Adam Frower and Alicia Courtenage and Evan George and Harvey Ratner and Chris Ibsen and um, Paula Lang. I mean, it's just a list of people that I just love. <clears throat> talk about solution focused grief therapy with him. I had an experience this past weekend of visiting Adam and his lovely family that uh, I think is really important on why that it, it highlights one of the ideas on why we need to focus on this idea. So one of the things that I've been really focused on in the past few years uh, in my work is asking clients about the version of themselves that they would like to be. And I remember having a conversation about this with Evan George at the Brief Summer School uh, a couple of years ago. But I began to kind of introduce this idea into the solution focus world and Evan and I were kind of talking about, like asking about this and, and he noticed that I was asking it in sessions when I did a live demonstration. And it's just been something that we've been talking about ever since actually. We talked about this last uh, Brief Summer School as well. And I want to I want to share about why this is so incredibly important because it harkens back to the best part of your client and their resources and their strengths. So I kind of struggle with the idea of a strength-based approach because um, to me it kind of, it, it, it misses it. But let me give an example. So while I was staying with Adam and his lovely family this past week, uh, his wife is very, very ill and, and going through uh, chemotherapy. And I learned some things about his wife as I was there. Like, number one, watching the way she's living her life and attending to her family and loving her children and being a great mom and being a great wife and being a great sister and being a great daughter. Like, she's just an amazingly wonderful person. Like, I, I cannot overstate how wonderful she is. And I watched her and the way that she lived her life. And here's the thing that's like the best version of Becca is Becca is a very talented clothing designer. Like she's the type of woman, I believe she went to college to learn how to do this. Uh, she makes all of the uh, kids Halloween costumes and people ask her to make wedding dress, that sort of thing. And Becca has a sister who's getting married fairly soon. And Becca agreed to design her wedding dresses. Now, this is going back a thousand years ago. She agrees to design the wedding dresses, and then she gets stricken with this illness and in all likelihood wouldn't be able to attend the wedding. And she's, as she's going through chemo, like she's not feeling very well. And every month, only about like one week out of the month does she feel well. So what does Becca do with her one week of feeling well a month? She works on her sister's wedding dresses. And it was clear to me that like, this isn't out of obligation. This isn't so my sister won't be mad at me. This isn't because I promised I would. This isn't so my mom will be happy with me. It is a genuine act of love. And like, that's who Becca is. That's the best version of Becca. So if Becca were to come to therapy because she's developed, you know, depression or an anxiety issue or an addiction, I have to talk to the version of Becca that is capable of that kind of activity and capable of that kind of action. You know, Chris, Chris Ibsen always talked about that clients have parallel stories. Like we have stories of the problem and stories of resource. And uh, that is one of Becca's stories of resource. And we all have it. No one is all strengths and no one is all problem. So as the therapist, it's my job to assume there is a story of resource and then talk to the client about that story of resource becoming more of a dominant voice in their life. So for example, you know, I just told you Becca's an amazing woman and I, I cannot overstate how amazing she is and the dedication and the strength and the, all of the things she has with her. Um, but you know, they don't make movies about it. She hasn't, they haven't written any books about Becca. They haven't made any documentaries about Becca. If Becca came to therapy, I wouldn't know it. And Becca's the type of person that she would never tell you how amazing she is. As the professional, it's my job to assume she's amazing and then talk to her as if that is true, even if the details of that amazing are being hidden by the problem or even by the client or by the story. Like, I cannot stress enough that I have never, ever, ever 
been proven wrong when I believed that a client had resources and that that version of them existed. So then in a therapy session, when someone tells you what their best hopes are, and I ask them about the version of themselves that would accomplish that best hopes, it has never let me down. But it's not about me finding that version, it's me believing that it's there. Because usually when people come to therapy, life has convinced them that that version is longer than, no longer there. That story is no longer true. And therapy has got to reawaken, rehearken, ignite that part of them so they can get back to being the version of themselves that they're most pleased with and is most likely to accomplish their goal. So as you start using solution focus brief therapy, uh, introduce the word version into your work because I think uh, once you start introducing this idea, uh, it transforms the outcomes that you will experience in therapy. So um, just as usual, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it made a difference for you. Please like this video, share this video, help me get the word out and mean the, the world to me. Uh, sh uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Head on over to ElliotConnie.com and take advantage of all the free stuff videos and PDF downloads I have on my website, and I will see you on the next video.